What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful sunshine day, and today we are here at the farm. Over at Crossroads Farm. And uh, it's a beautiful sunshine day. God, it's got to be like 60 degrees out. It's definitely nice out. And uh, just doing some cleanup over here. Uh, stopped over here, the uh, hay wagon that uh, we use here at the farm. Uh, we built, I think it's like seven or eight years ago now. Um, and it needed some maintenance, uh, some rotted wood, and it needed a paint job. So uh, we sent the flatbed over here this morning and uh, we picked it up. And uh, we've been working over here in the farm, cleaning up some stuff and cleaning up the front a little bit. And um, the farm is a nonprofit um, local organic farm right here in Malvern, Crossroads Farm at Grossman's. Uh, if anyone wants to check it out, crossroads-farm.org. And it's a nonprofit farm, organic here, and uh, I'm on the board over here that helps run the farm. And uh, it's a labor of love. It's a, it's a really cool place. Um, little oasis here, I don't know, less than 20 miles from the city. And um, yeah, so uh, opening day is going to be coming soon, and uh, we've had a lot of fun at this farm. Um, a lot of education goes on here, um, a lot of community fun, community outreach, um, a lot of good stuff, a lot of community building, uh, wine tastings, and food truck derbies, and uh, beer tastings, Oktoberfest, all kinds of good stuff we do here. It's a good time. But, um, this brings me to the message of the day. Do you recognize what you have? Do you recognize what you have? So we got this organic farm here in our town. Uh, we are just outside of New York City, so this thing is kind of uh, not the norm by us. I know some of you guys live in farm areas, and there's farms everywhere. Here, most of the farms have been developed with the housing communities, and uh, it's kind of sad to see the open land going away. This is one of the last here in Nassau County. There's a handful, uh, most of them up on the North Shore. Uh, left in Nassau County. Uh, farming is actually coming back here in Long Island. Uh, a lot of new farms are opening up and it's uh, kind of cool. But uh, we have this oasis here. Uh, right? And people don't support it. Locals don't support it. Um, and it's kind of similar to the parallel in life where a lot of times we have opportunities in front of us. We have people in our lives. We have um, and opportunities in our lives that we don't take advantage of, that we are still looking for something else. Meanwhile, we have something right here in our backyard that we don't take advantage of. Uh, we don't uh, support it, we don't chase it, we don't encourage it, um, and we miss out on opportunity. So, uh, message of the day is be aware of your surroundings. Um, look at the opportunities that are in front of you, look at the people that are in front of you, uh, look at where you live, look at what you're surrounded by, look at the people you're surrounded by, and uh, stop looking past that. Take advantage of what you already have. Recognize what you already have. Because um, so many of us are still looking. We can't see the forest through the trees. Um, take advantage of what you already have. Right here, we got an organic farm. Right here, less than 20 miles from New York City. Uh, people drive all the way out to the North Fork to go to farms and whatnot. Meanwhile, we got a farm right here, right in our backyard, uh, that many of the local people really don't support. They're too busy to forget about it. We got farmers markets every Saturday, uh, all kinds of good stuff going on. And uh, for some reason, it's right in front of them, yet they don't uh, support it. And much like the stuff in life that is right in front of us, yet we don't support it. The opportunity is in front of us, and we don't chase it. Uh, the people are in front of us that can help us, and we don't pay attention to them. Um, Think about what's going on in your life that uh, you need to pay attention to and what you already have that you're not realizing that you already have in your life. Um, all right, today's your message of the day. Gratitude, be thankful for what we already have. Yes, all right, let's jump on prayers over here. The fire truck, a bunch of volunteers just painted that up. Looks great. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to be thankful for what we already have. Uh, for what you've already provided for us, for the opportunities you've provided, for the people you put in our lives, 
Um, we're blessed with everything you put in us. And I know sometimes we're caught up in life and uh, we keep looking for more and we already have what we need. You've already provided. So help us to be aware of our surroundings and help us to be thankful for what we already have. Amen. All right, so there's your message of the day. Beautiful sunshine day here. Long Island, New York, Malvern, just outside of New York City, just east of uh, New York City, uh, just over the Queens border. And uh, we got an organic farm here that's a nonprofit. And uh, it's an amazing place, a little oasis here. And if you're in our local area, support it every Saturday. Uh, we got a farmer's market here. And uh, the farm will be open for the season shortly. And uh, check it out, support it. Volunteer some time, donate some money. You can use a tax write-off. Uh, it's a great place and we're trying to keep it around for future generations to learn where food comes from because uh, our kids don't even know where food comes from. It's pretty sad. So um, anyway, crossroads-farm.org. Also Crossroads Farm at Grossman's on Facebook and Instagram, X Roads, the letter X Roads, Farm LI New York on Instagram and uh, message me and I'll get you links. Uh, it's a great place. And uh, if you have local things in your town, make sure you support them local. Make sure you support the local organizations, nonprofits, um, community organizations in your town. Um, all these organizations are run by a bunch of people, giving it their uh, blood, sweat, and tears, volunteers, and um, they, uh, you know, they need your support. It's uh, it's kind of hard when you work and work and work as a nonprofit and trying to do good, trying to do good, and. Uh, Local people don't support you and they don't recognize your efforts. So uh, be aware of your surroundings. Be grateful for what you have and support what you have. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Beautiful sunshine day. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.